Isis. Hold on. He's waiting on the left. Oh, aye. Oh. Who's she slobbering on about? Oh. Oh, there's a left there. He's a bit into the left. Yeah, she's a bit back into her flat. Right, that's a coast clear. Hey, Isis. Hey, Isis. What do you think Beginnis was doing on Isis? I'm doing Isa. Look! Look! What was supposed to be Look! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that big innocent gun in that. Oh, big bastard. He must have had to have stood up to get his cell off of that. What am I going to do? I can't have that. Barry with a new brush. Break any bits. Oh, Harpick of Domestis, burn it to death. Domestis! You want to see me, Chris? Aye, right, come on in, Davy. Take a seat. <clears throat> well, you know we've got CCTV now in uh, your route, Canal Bridge Street. And? Take a look at this. Explanation, David. Chris, that woman is absolutely reeking of piss. Yeah. Mm. She's rotten. Fair news, David. You want the match tonight? Oh, yes, I'll be there, yeah. And feel. Now, we're here at Crackna Fudden Point to show you something very, very special indeed. That's right, Rory. The most northerly phone box in the British Isles. Our friends at British Telecom tell us it takes 17,000 tonnes of steel to make the phone lines that travel from here to Land's End. Can you imagine that? <laughs> well, that's only the half of it, Rory. You see, oh, oh. <laughs> there's a wee call for us. Well, we better take it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hel oh, there doesn't appear to be anyone there. Some wee bastards playing silly buggers here. Oh, oh, <laughs> Taxi for a couple of fannies! <laughs> oh, don't touch it! Bish. 
Are you George Bush? Ah, George Bush. Uh, ask him if he's Kate Bush, man. Ask him. Shut up, man. Shut up. Are you Kate Bush? Aye, that's right. A couple of Egypts. Sing us a song, Kate Bush. Ah, quality, man. Make him sing, man. Make him sing. Hold on a second, son. See, you used to. See if I wasn't getting on this bus. I'd come out there and I'd rip your arms off, you wee tit, and batter the shite out of your pal with them. You used to have ripped the bloody arse out of that pack, you pair of inbred freak show bastards. Aye, look at yous now, eh? No so smart as soon as somebody stands up to you. You're still done and you're skinny wee assholes. <laughs> Are we kidding? <laughs> Maybe 60 pounds worth of devil dog and tapping me, tearing at me, trying to eat me. The whole time I'm, I'm getting at body blows. I must have hit it about 40 times in the gut. Nothing. I didn't even wind it. Nash, nash, tear, bite, slash. Then I managed to get my thumb into his eye, but all I've done then is annoy it. I tell you one thing, I didn't go thirsty. I must have drunk about a pint of his slabbers. So how did you get it I didn't. It clocked a wee dug and went away and pumped it. It's a monster. It should be destroyed. Take a whiskey, Winston. That'll settle you. Yeah. Not your money, eh? Hello, and welcome to the wild, wild Isle of Groot, where the North Pole is that way, Inverness is back that way, and hopefully, our dinner's down that way. Oh, there must be an easier way to catch your tea than this, Alistair, surely. <laughs> Indeed, Rory. Ice fishing on frozen Loch Smullock is not the warmest or indeed <laughs> the simplest of pastimes. But it's time honoured tradition. So it's cut a hole in the ice and wait. Can you hear something, Alison? Indeed I can, Rory. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give you a song, right? <coughs> There's a country road I know <laughs> oh, yes. Where the lifestyle's kind of slow ho, ho. Are the hills and mountains Come right up to face ye <laughs> There's a petrol station there <laughs> Run by a really nice man with silver hair Who is very, very old and never can quite place <laughs> you <laughs> So just fill up your tank Neglect to pay the daft old wank Cos he's far too <laughs> slow to, to get up his arse and chase you <laughs> 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 I'm called the B60 with liquid crystal display monitor. Excellent choice, my man. Excellent choice. Totally spot on choosing my man. Top selection, top buy. Top picking, do the real. Thank you. And uh, <clears throat> will you be requiring our extended five year warranty guarantee? <laughs> Categorical, unequivocal, undeniable, total peace of mind. No thanks. <gasps> Alan, show the man how you sleep with our extended five year warranty guarantee. <laughs> now show the man how you sleep without it. Now we can't watch the problem. Well, my prized pub corner, it's been stolen. See, it hasn't stolen. Ah! 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 Absolute peace of mind. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're free to find Mrs. Wilson. Oh, thanks, Doctor. Where are my shoes? Here they are. Oh, oh don't forget your purse. <laughs> you. Now on to the weekend roundup interpreting for the Neds tonight, Rab McGlinchey. All right, Trips. Acclaimed American heavy rock band Purple Thunder landed in Glasgow today as part of their 30th anniversary tour. Singer Rip Gadley told reporters he was delighted to be here. Yeah, you want to see the state of these heat bangers, by the way, man. Their faces are wrinklier than an elephant's boss sack. <laughs> see the rip geezer, by the way. He wears a mad wig, man. They're just a bunch of recovering alky geriatrics going at it, live fast, die young. Know what I mean? Tragic, sad, 
Pesh. Tonight, the band are playing the first of three concerts at the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre. All nights are sold out, and the public are warned to be on their guard for ticket touts. MD want a ticket. Best seats in the house, please, by the way. Meet us out in front of studio after the news. You buy six, you get two free jellies. You're going to need them, by the way. Good night. Rock on. In the year 2345, the Federation of Planets opened a Starfleet Academy near Carnoustie in Scotland. Four years later, its first graduates emerged to find themselves rewarded with the command of Starfleet's newest and most powerful vessel, the Ion Impulse-powered Aurora. Right, Ensign, he's what Factor 10. We'll open this big bastard up and see if it has shit off a shoulder here. Nadine, you get your belt soon. No captures when in belt like a bunch of big poofters. What? Pony let us go with the replica here. I'm starving. All right. As long as you bring us back a mug of Royal Game Soup and a couple of ciders. <laughs> Captain. What now? They're a wreck, big hoory, a spaceship coming towards us. And you want to see the bastard the size of the thing is? I can't get up to our size as big as the New York skin. These graduates never backed away from conflict as they were fearless and highly trained. I tell you, four in a million pistols, like this, right your clacker, back. What you need, you dafty? Well, I'm just saying I'm going on a holiday, Captain Holiday, Daft King. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take a journey into the unknown with Captain McConnell. Set faces to Malky. It's number one, O'Donnell. It's like he hob I've ever seen a four captain, Ken. <laughs> Dr. McDonald. He's dead, Captain. Stone dead. No pull for nothing. Will you stop kicking at my arse, you pervert? I'm Sam McKay, the android. And McDade, the communications officer. Captain, we're meddling with forces we can't possibly comprehend. You can find your gagging for the E. You've <laughs> <laughs> a chance of getting your hole. You're an android, you've cack on, no! <laughs> In 60 seconds, we will board your ship, and you will surrender your vessel to us. Oh, go on, don't it talk fish! Taysiders in space, in a most It's just the settle of what's coming up and off tonight. What's that smock you're watching? Underwear. Get that off! What are you hiding there? <laughs> you get a stoner. No. Oh, that cushion. Lift that cushion and let me see. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> you dirty me bastard! Get out of here! Don't move. What? I'm sitting here with a big stoner. Lift that cushion! Fuck <laughs> up! Stoner! Why have you done this to us? Hello, Ma. Ma, I need to phone you back. Johnny's got a stoner. <laughs> a stoner! Be your granny noise! It's me, Johnny. He's got a big stoner. <laughs> What have you got here? Patrick here has just made the purchase of the year, the SYX 4000 DVD. The four speed, Patrick. Very same, Patrick, eh? That's top of the line, Patrick. That's a solid piece of machinery, Patrick. Do you like a drink, Pat? Yes, I suppose I do. I thought so. You look like a man that takes a drink. No offence, I like a drink myself. But you could bounce this off the toilet flare, pour three pints right down it, and it would still give you perfect stereo surround sound. I'm telling you that for nothing, Pat stuff. That's right, Pat McGraw in the DVD scene. It's pure junk at the moment. Oh, listen to this groin stuff. Listen, the DVDs are flying out of here. It's DVD this, DVD that. I'm pure person to watch a DVD me. Folk are having to duck the flying out the door that fast. Mind your head, Paddy Boom Boom! <laughs> <laughs> There's another DVD flying right out the shop, you mental oriental rice paddy. Missed you be a ball hair there, spicy ricey. Just missed your big greasy napper, you riced up maddy. Oh, I could miss a big football heat like that, eh? Fanny pad. Mad mental paddy in the region, fanny pad. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> With your big, mad, mental, fanny face. Look at it, man. Look at it. He'll be back. Ah, he's DVD daft, that boy. <laughs> so this is the office, and this will be your desk. Thanks. This seems like a good place to work. Hmm. Well, yes and no. You haven't met the boss yet, have you? No, I haven't. What's he like? Well, how can I put this? He's uh, slightly deluded. He thinks he can make himself invisible. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I know. Psst, that's invisible boss coming. Right. Whatever you do, just pretend you don't see him, OK? I don't think I can do this. Yeah, you can. Just have a normal conversation. <clears throat> so, at uh, around about 10 o'clock, we gather at the kitchen and we have a cup of coffee and a chat, you know? Oh, uh, that sounds good. Oh, wow, Lisa, look, your bag's floating in midair. Oh, wow, how's it doing that? That's amazing. Oh, I think I can hear the boss coming. You like him. Thanks. It's okay, arms all the time. Uh, hello there. I'm Alan Davidson. Nice How are you? I thought I'd pop down and say hello before you get started, you know. I'm very busy at the moment myself, you know, so you won't see an awful lot of me. All right. That's nice, thanks. Okay, carry on. So your stapler's levitating. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> I seem to have tripped. There must be a loose tile. We'll get that loose tile sorted then. You all right? Oh, look, a floating spoon. Forgive me, I'm such a clumsy eater. Lisa, somebody must have left that window open. There's a terrible breeze blowing in. Where's my pen gone now? Oh, look, it's levitating. And look at that apple juice. It's, it's disappearing into thin air. Apple juice? That's not apple juice. That's my sample for the doctors. 